Would you like to make custom prints, specifically the staggered brick print? Well, it starts with the guide that you will find inside of the Pattern Buddy brush set. And that, along with a personal touch and the three videos that go along with it for this project will get you well on your way. For this project, we'll need a couple of items, including the most recent version of Procreate and the brush set that's for sale at my site called Pattern Buddy. And you can find that set at bit.ly forward slash digi dash merch or you can just go ahead and scan the QR code. Three things before we start. We're going to be using a 12 by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi for our project and that translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. Next, I would love to see your patterns and if you'd like to share them, please share them at Instagram with the hashtag digi with Liz. Next, you can check your patterns to see if they're seamless at my site. Go to bit.ly forward slash check dash tile. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. We have a 12 inch by 12 inch canvas at 300 dpi, which translates out to 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. I'm going to come over to our colors and we're going to double tap right down at the bottom in the dark so that we get black. And then we're going to come over to Pattern Buddy and we're going to select this brick stagger. Okay. Let's see, I have it dialed down to about 90% and just tap somewhere in the center there. Okay, and then select um, your Move and Transform tool and Fit to Canvas. And there we go, perfect. So now we're going to use this. Um, we're going to keep the black just like it is, but we're also going to put in some colors here so that we have sort of a different looking variegated brick. And before I do that, however, let's create a, a layer on top here. And with black still selected, Let's go to our Pattern Power, which is the freebie that goes along with this, and select this cardstock. And we're just going to put that over for, woo, for, some, um, for some texture there. So that looks pretty good. Okay, so now let's go back to this bottom layer here. Tap it so that you get uh, the layer menu and tap Reference. And then above Layer 2, select and create a new layer. Okay, and then let's go back in here and create, we're going to uh, double tap, whoa, double tap so we get uh, in the grays so that we get a nice gray color. Uh, that might not be gray enough. Well, we'll find out in just a second here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, with reference selected, we're going to select that, oops, select that brick and then this brick and we're just dumping in and we're going to select this brick right here. So right there and right there. Okay, and now let's go ahead and let's tap our bottom layer first and select reference to make it not a reference any longer. And then actually let's go to this layer two and we're going to go ahead and kind of lighten that up just a tad. So about to 68, 67% looks like. Okay, then go up to this top layer and then I want to play around with um, different um, blending modes just to see what we can do for some very, ooh. I like that. Okay, we're going to go with Vivid Light. I like the look of that. Okay, and so now this is our tile. So let's go ahead and test it with this top layer still selected. We're going to go over to our wrench, tap Add, Copy Canvas, and Paste. And then we're going to come over to our three dots at the top here. And we're going to select Split View. And then we're going to go over to my website, DigiArts with Liz. And then we're going to select Tools, Pattern Checker. And then we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that tile right on here just to see that it in fact is seamless. Okay, so once you get this pattern tile right where you want it, it's time to make some texture brushes so that you can make patterns that are scaled for print on demand and also digital products. This tutorial shows you how. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope your day is amazing.